Hello everyone, it's Luke Left, and this is Stoblock. Everyone's had dads today. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. And, uh, yeah, in between episodes, I haven't done too much. I did a little bit of stuff, so let's kind of take a look here. Kind of push forward, man. We want to work towards our transmutation uh, table today. I don't think we'll actually get it. We may. Really depends how things go. I did go ahead and work on a few chickens here, though. I've got Terra Steel, Elementium, and Mana Steel. Also, I had to do uh, Prismarine Crystals. Uh, to get terror steel so i have those ones done we don't have a lot of chickens left uh, uh much room for them i should say to you know kind of fill out this area <laughs> uh, i actually doubled up on eulorium because uh, it seemed like at one point it was going down but it doesn't really seem like it is anymore it's kind of holding <laughs> gaining a little bit actually but barely so anyway that's doing that that's pretty done and uh, that's pretty awesome uh over here i did upgrade our injectors so i have them all upgraded here so you go here, kind of check that out, go to Draconic Evolution. We actually have two quests we can claim, and we should probably do that. So I'm still looking for a Skullfire Sword. <laughs> Sooner or later, I may get one. Uh, I just get some more storage. That isn't that big a deal. Grab that stuff, drop it off, and uh, yeah. So what we're going to use this for, I went ahead and upgrade these first, I guess. You should look at that recipe. To get these all upgraded, I had to use some Wyvern Cores, a whole bunch of Diamond, some Wicked Draconium. Had to do that again 10 times to be able to get uh, all the injectors that we need. But now we have that. We can go ahead and take these alchemical chests, upgrade them. I'm uh, not right there. Let's go to here. There we go. And get them up to energy condensers. With the energy condensers, we're going to be able to get into, well, really Project E, which is basically taking items uh, that are assigned to value. So you can see this one is 2,450,000 EMC. And then duplicate items using a point system. So yeah, we're going to get that done. We're going to make two of them off the hop. Because we're going to need two to be able to duplicate them. So we're going to kind of get that going there. Get that going there. Set up all these recipes. And uh, push forward. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, pretty pumped to get into the end game of this pack. But uh, we still have a little ways to go. So get that going. Get that going. And I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, the crystal chest. Grab that. Sweet. And uh, probably the alchemicals. We'll grab them, pop them inside. That recipe is good to go. Should be able to click start here. Maybe speed that up. Maybe we'll get done at some point. And there we go. The first one's finished. And there we go. We have our energy condenser. We can actually start the next one. See, we got our quest there. And uh, pretty awesome. This is actually massive and uh, just all around an amazing item. If we take that and pop that down now, you guys see here has a uh, internal inventory this inventory can accept items so we can go ahead and kind of open up here we're gonna grab something that i know is worth a lot of emc that's going to be nether stars we'll maybe grab some of them maybe pop a stack in now if i put an energy condenser oh sorry if i put it in the filter this is actually this little target symbol uh symbol is a filter it's going to start using the emc in those nether stars to create whatever's in the filter as long as it has the emc value not all items have it, so say I wanted to recreate this Cobalt Iron Hammer, it doesn't have VFC, I wouldn't be able to do it. So, it really a little limited, but at the same time, you're going to be able to do it to a lot of things. But you can see there, I just made a good amount of uh, energy condensers. <laughs> and uh, we'll need more of these later on to get them to the next level ones. Uh, but for right now, this is good enough. And I'm probably just going to pop them in there, because they're actually in the recipe we need to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a few more nether stars. Actually, do that. I want to make some of this red matter too because it's really painful to do with coal. So we're going to do that right there. Oh, I said red matter, man. Let's get you out. There we go. I'm derping. There we go. And uh, yeah, to make a, a stack of this is like 100,000 coal. With this, it's just a little bit of uh, nether star. We kind of move on there. And we're also, I want to make a little bit more of the dark matter as well, just so we have it on hand and anytime i can duplicate something that is complicated i'll just do it here if i can do it with easy auto crafting i'll just do it in the provide storage system probably be the way i could do it anyway that's that and uh pretty awesome all around we're going to need that uh for those actually to be able to make our um transmutation tablet so anyway let's do that uh the next thing i want to get to let's actually take a look at the transmutation tablet transmutation table we're going for the table not the tablet because the table takes a lot more work. <laughs> We're going to go back to this one here. Look at the actual table. We still need to get into Pixie Dust. So that's going to be Britannia. We also need to get into HTPE. Uh, that's going to be Mechanism. That's going to be a little bit of a setup. So that one's going to be a setup. 
Uh, we also need to get this here, which is the energy collector, MK3, the Mark III. These things just basically generate EMC and then make it so you can make those fuels for the mod uh, just using like a single piece of coal and it just generates it over time. Um, just, yeah, it just generates EMC. But uh, we need one for this recipe. We're going to go ahead and get this going. We're going to need a lot of glowstone, glass, diamond, and a furnace. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to uh, maybe some glass. Grab a stack, maybe some diamond. Uh, we don't even need a stack. We just need one because we can duplicate it, right? So do that, that, uh, and a bunch of glowstone. Glowstone. So I think this tier, we needed six. I think the tiers after this take seven glowstone. So let's grab that. I also think it takes one of these and one of those. So let's kind of drop that off. So our inventory is not quite as full. Let's do that there, that there. Now let's get this stuff down. So yeah, these ones should be pretty simple to make. And like I said, once we make our first set, we can just duplicate them. Maybe I'll show you how they work really quick in case you do want to use them. I just don't think they're very useful at my point because I can just go ahead and uh, make a whole bunch of the fuel really easy. Let's go ahead and grab, what do we need here? A furnace, right? Let's grab a normal vanilla furnace. There we go. I think that goes in there. And we can just start that. And done. there we go. We're going to have that done. <laughs> I love the acceleration one. It makes this process so much quicker. We're going to grab that, pop it right back in. Go ahead and grab another seven glowstone and possibly uh, dark matter. There we go. That should handle that. And then we'll get that one done. Then we just need to get up to the last level there and kind of push forward. Do that. Start that. Push you off. Let the wand do the wandy things. That's pretty awesome. One more step. Eh. There we go. These little grindy bits that you have to get done, but at the same time, it doesn't take too much time. Uh, and it's going to take even less time because we only really need to grab one, where in a lot of packs, you'd have to kind of do this over and over and over. Uh, in this pack, not that big a deal. Let's do you right there. Finish that off. And speed. So I think you are going to need more of the tier threes uh, to make your engine condensers, MK2s, later on. I'm not going to rush these right now because I really just want to get to the table first. But if I took this puppy down, actually, let's duplicate it first before we do anything. Let's do you. Let's grab some uh, more Nether Star. There we go. Nether Star. Grab a stack. Pop you down. I'm just using Nether Stars too because I know they have a lot of EFC on them. So, yeah, def definitely a good item for this. But I can just pop those in there and make a whole bunch of them. <laughs> let's grab uh, just one of them for right now just so I can show you how it works. Maybe a piece of coal. Let's grab coal. We got that right there. Sweet and sweet. So basically, you can see there, it's actually generating EMC. The max amount it can store inside it is 60,000. But if you take something like a piece of coal, pop that there, it'll start kind of upgrading it to higher level items that are worth, you know, bigger EMC values. And it'll just keep doing that. Every time that bar kind of goes all the way up, it's going to go through. I think the next one's glowstone. No, it's coal first, then glowstone. Then I think it finally turns into the fuels, right? So these ones here, fuel uh, at project, maybe do that. So it'll turn into the alchemical, then finally the Mobius, then finally the, what, the Aether Nalus? <laughs> but it's going to take a while because that's 8,192. I can't remember if it actually turns into blocks, but really it doesn't matter at this point. We don't really need it. You could also set it to, if you set a target block, so if I take that, put that there, it will basically, I think, well, it won't do it now. It's a little messed up. I'd have to do the next level, but I think it'll put it into the output slot if you once it hits the target block. But anyway, that's that. That's good. And uh, that's how that works. So let's go ahead and kind of move on from that. There we go. And uh, let's kind of grab you, pop you off. Uh, we have this material now. We don't need that. We have our condensers. We're good. Let's go ahead and pick this up. So uh, we don't need to be in this area over here anymore. And uh, look at the next step. The next step, I think, we need to decide. We can either get in the Mechanism or Britannia. And I need to kind of figure out exactly what route we need to go. Because uh, we need Pixie Dust. So if I wanted the Pixie Dust right now, I need to get into the Elven Gateway. To do that, I'm going to need the Elven Gateway Core. I already have Terror Steel. But uh, we're going to need Mana too, because we need the Pylons, right? So what are the Pylons? I'm just trying to figure out which one would be quicker. Because I'd like to do quicker first and the slowest last, right? So that's that there. Then we need a Natura pylon. That there. So we're going to need basically just mana. 
for the mana pylons. But we also, I believe, if we go here and check that out, we got some lotus. We could actually use these to make mana, so that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> this will make that a lot easier. Because I think that blacker one is actually worth a lot. And I might even have more of these lotus in here. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how much mana we kind of have on hand. We have a fair amount, actually. That's uh, not too bad at all. We could go that route. We could also do mechanism. Here's what I think I'll do. Here's what we'll do. We're going to set up a couple mechanism machines just so we can get some materials being processed. Then I'll go work on Batania. Then we will be able to come back to mechanism later on and get it kind of finished off uh, pretty easy. We're going to need, what are they called there? Infusers. So we're going to go ahead and grab them. These things are pretty easy to make. And yeah, metallurgic infusers. I think we need probably just two right now. Let's grab them. Let's grab redstone and redstone. We would need iron. Grab you. And what is the other one? The other one would be osmium, I think. There we go. I just want to get these kind of producing materials that we're going to need for these kind of quickly. They would kind of just pop back. Craft the machines we need to and get straight into the HDPE sheets that we need to create. Uh, did I grab? Yeah, I grabbed everything. Go ahead and pop uh, you down. Pop you down. Probably give these power. Those good old points. At that. Don't know if I'm going to bother automating these right at the second because I don't think we really need it. So let's do that. So we need two materials out of these. I think one is called like enriched alloys. Um, this one's going to be for circuits. This one will be enriched alloys. And they're just going to go through. They're going to make us a stack. Actually, I'm curious. Do these have EMC? If so, we could just duplicate them. That'll make our life a lot easier. No, they don't. And they don't. But uh, we're going to need those materials to make all the base level mechanism machines. So I'm just going to kind of let them craft. That'll give us a stack. That should be enough to get us to the other machines. But uh, while they're going, we're going to go ahead, I think, and work on Batania. Probably be our best bet. So the plan is good to Batania. So the first thing we're going to need here is called the Mystical Essence. We made this earlier in the pack. Uh, pretty easy to make. You just need a lot of the mystical flowers. And a good go in that regards. But with this, we'll be able to make all the flowers that are needed to do all the things with Batania. So Batania is a magic mod. It uses flower power. And, uh, that's what we're going to get into here. Uh, we're going to need a lot of that mystical white. We're going to grab that. And there are a couple other flowers we need. I kind of need to remember here. I think it's light gray. Let's grab a couple of them. Let's do that. We need the whites to make uh, endo flames. Not endo flames, sorry. Uh, that, that's the ones I'm trying to work on right now, endo flames. This is going to be for the pure daisies. So they're going to be kind of the two components we actually work with today. Uh, let's go to, I got some use on this one here. And figure out the other two colors. The other two colors, one is brown. We're going to need a couple of them. I think we need reds as well. Then we'll have all the flowers we actually need today. Um, we're not getting very far into Batania at all. We're really just going straight for what we actually need. So we're going to do it that way. Uh, we need a couple diamonds. Let's go ahead and grab them. Probably like four of those. I'm going to handle that. What else do we need here? Uh -huh -huh. Oh, a petal apothecary would probably be the thing. Uh, these flowers, you can kind of craft them. Just craft them with the cells. You get these petals. That is what we're going for. So we're just going to go ahead and get them all crafted over probably. That, that, and that. And there we go. So the first thing we need, I guess, after that is, like I said, the petal up off. Go ahead and grab one of them. Uh, this is going to be our first kind of crafting table with this mod. So we need to do a little crafting with this. Uh, we're going to need a sink and some water as well. So let's go ahead and grab a sink. Possibly a bucket, because that's probably a good idea. <laughs> And maybe go get this set up and figure out exactly what we need here. Okay, which room are we going to do? We only have one room not used. And I, I looked at this thing earlier today. I didn't realize um, this wall, this entire wall needs to be pushed back. One on each side. And when I do that, this will actually become the center of the room. So I've got to treat like that as like the center of the room, I think. Because <laughs> right now it's an even number and that's going to drive me crazy. But anyway, I'm going to break that block just so I know where center is. And uh, yeah, just so I can set things up. But anyway, I'm going to grab the Petal Apothecary. I'm going to throw it over here somewhere for all that matters. Probably break the floor in front of it just so we can have easy access to water. And yeah, we're going to do a little crafting here really quick. Uh, might as well go ahead and grab this as well. We're going to need the book. What is it called? The Lexicon Batania. Grab that. You can get those in loot bags. You don't even have to craft it. So that's pretty sweet. Open that up. And uh, we're going to get ourselves a little achievement here. The thing we're trying to get to is actually here. We go over here. We go to Portal, right? You can just go Portal, right? Uh, portal. No, go to here, click on that, then type portal. <laughs> so we're trying to make the portal of Alfheim. The portal of Alfheim is basically an exchange window where you kind of throw things in it. 
and items that will come out are going to be different than the ones you threw in it and it's going to use up a little mana in the process it takes a little mana to kind of keep it running at all times too but we're not really concerned about that you can kind of see it's just kind of this like multi-block that you build in the world nothing that special pretty easy to do but uh, we do need to get it uh get the main materials is going to be the living wood and the living rock to do that we're going to have to use these mystical whites and probably some water here go ahead and grab that get that going and make ourselves some pure daisies. Pure daisies are kind of used to um, in-world transform materials into other materials. And uh, we're going to get that done. Oh, I forgot about seeds, man. Grab a couple seeds. Let's do you right there. You know, pop that in. You'll notice on the screen there, it shows what I threw in there. So the pure four white petals. Little check mark with a little plus sign below it with the seed. And it's showing that if I throw in the seed, I actually get the daisy. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to do that four times probably right now. you also notice it says right click with an open hand to do the last recipe. Bam, it'll just do that and uh, just throw it a seed. Speeds that up a little bit. So that is a nice little added bonus as well. <laughs> do that. Uh, right click, seed, and maybe one more time. There we go. And I don't even know if we're going to end up automating this. It really depends on how much. Like I only seen Batania at two parts of the pack so far. We may find it more later on. At this point, I'm not too worried about Batania if that's all it's going to be. Go ahead and grab some dirt. There we go. And probably break you. And it would be here. There we go. Do we want to do more of these? <laughs> no, two, this, this should be good enough. Let's go ahead and just do uh, two of these. Let's do that and that. We're going to use this to convert materials, like I said. The first one we're going to do is going to be oak. So we're going to grab some oak. There we go. Probably drop off those saplings and some stones so let's go ahead and grab some of that uh one's going to turn into living wood the other one's going to turn into living rock so that's going to be kind of how that works there sweet and uh when i put oak around this it's going to start emitting particles after a short little period of time they're going to convert over and then we'll have first materials for the mod which is actually pretty cool in itself so let's kind of do that again and do that here i guess we'll set up We'll do another big batch of living wood. We're going to need mostly living wood, right? So we might as well just do a big old batch of it. Get that kind of finished off. And then do... We might need a double batch of the living rock as well, actually. Now that I think of it, because we have to make the mana tablets as well. But yeah, just kind of watch this and get a whole lot of particle effects. Take a little bit of time. And then it's going to make a little sound here. They're going to start converting over. And uh, yeah, then we can kind of proceed here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll just put that there. I'm going to end up having something sit on top of that anyway. It doesn't really matter. Convert. <laughs> Why are you taking so long? I don't remember taking this long, to be honest. I thought it was quicker than this. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, we can go ahead and actually work on our next flower here. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket. Let's throw that there. We're only going to make one of these ones. It's going to be an end of flame. Uh, we have the lotuses, so I'm not really worried about mana. But, uh, we're going to throw in a brown petal, a gray, a red. Actually, I think it's two browns, isn't it? Brown, red. There we go. Once you do that, you'll get these little orangey flower there. This is the endo flame. It basically works like a furnace that produces power, right? So the power is going to be the mana. Uh, we're going to be able to use that to actually, you know, make the materials we need here. Um, but yeah, you just kind of throw stuff at it. You'll see here in a second. Uh, go ahead and grab some oak. Might as well get another batch of the oak done. Sweet. And I'll get five of that done of stone because uh, we need to get that going as well. Sweet. And grab all the living wood over here. That's cool. And get some more of the stone going. And we should be okay. We might need a little more living wood, but uh, that's fine there. So the next thing we're going to get going here, we have our flower. We're going to need a mana pool. We're waiting on the stone. Once we have that, we're going to need a spreader as well. So let's go ahead and make the spreader. We can get that one going. Spreaders are used to move the mana around. Really easy to make. Just takes a living wood, any petal, and a piece of gold. Just gonna take that. That's probably gonna sit about here. It's gonna go right there. Then we can set our flower probably right here for all that it matters. Go ahead and grab a piece of dirt. So that is gonna need to sit on uh, either dirt or grass. Uh, I guess I didn't need to break this one, but uh, anyway, let's kind of put that back there. <laughs> go ahead and grab you. Get that converted back because I started changing it to the wrong block. These things are a little annoying to pick. I've had to do this so much too. Anyway, that's good there. There we go. Getting our first living rock. Go ahead and grab that. 
be able to get ourselves a mana pool and actually get going. So let's go ahead, make ourselves a little cup. This is mana pool, all it does is hold mana. <laughs> Gonna set that right there. And now this is effectively ready to go to start producing mana. So let's go ahead and grab uh, some coal. Uh, let's grab, oh, we need a wand first. Let's go ahead and make a wand. Try to use some of these twigs, twigs here. Gonna need three of them. And combine those, I believe, with any petals with a recipe kind of like this. I'll just do a red one. There we go. And there we go. We've got our wand of the forest. With this, we can actually link things up and kind of target things. So if I shift right click on the spreader, it gets that little box around it. So I'm going to shift right click on the pool, and that's going to aim it at the mana pool. Could going to do the same thing with the flower and on the spreader. That's going to link this, those up. You can see now the end of flame has a little green check mark in the bottom right there, showing that it's linked to a spreader. And uh, that is pretty cool there as well. And uh, all we have to do now is kind of throw down a burnable fuel uh, with this particular flower. And it's going to start burning it. And this should start. If you start right clicking, you'll notice the little bar is going up. Every time it reaches a certain point, it's going to shoot a mana blast in here. And the pool's going to start getting mana. Now, I'm not really worried about uh, getting much mana out of this at this point. <laughs> out of the spreader itself, because uh, we're not really using that method. Uh, we're going to be using another one. I do need a tiny bit more living rock, so let's get that as well. Sweet. And grab that. Okay, that's good. Do we have any more? Let's kind of get done what we have here. Just to have it all finished off, right? Sweet. And uh, I guess the next thing we'll do here would be go ahead and grab our lotuses. Let's go ahead and grab them. Um, this is basically just free mana. <laughs> uh, let's kind of grab 64 of them. 64 of them. And we're going to just drop these in the pool. Um, you can't do this unless there's at least one mana in the pool. So you need to have a tiny bit of mana in here before you can actually use a lotus. A little odd quirk for them, but you can throw them in there. They'll fill up the pool. That's awesome. We're going to immediately grab these diamonds, throw those in there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get some mana diamonds, which is kind of a thing we needed. That's pretty cool. Should be able to make some mana tablets. Let's do that. Grab some mana tablets. Mana tablets are basically batteries. That's all they really are. And uh, they're going to let us move mana around. So that's pretty cool. And we probably want to get them full. So let's go ahead and grab these. Uh, to change the pool, so right now the pool, you notice there's an arrow below, below it. It's pointing at the pool, meaning it wants to charge the pool first. We're going to actually shift and right-click that. It's going to tell it to fill tablets first. And we can grab our tablets, kind of throw those in there. Now they're going to start getting some particle effects and draining mana from the pool. And that's exactly what we want to see at this point. So let's do that. And there we go. Got our mana tablets kind of all charged up here. Let's switch that back so it's actually charging the pool. Then we can go ahead and grab... Some of those lotus, throw those back in there. Have ourselves have a good little supply of mana. And uh, I think we really just need to build the portal here. So to make the portal, we need a, what is it, a gateway core? Let's do that. Let's go to gateway and core. It's right there. Go ahead and grab some terra steel nuggets. And we got the core. This is the main block. Doesn't really matter where that goes. Well, I mean, it matters where it goes. But it uh, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, because this wall is going to end up moving back one on each side, like I said, because it's not going to be the center. That's going to drive me crazy. Also, we need that as well. Uh, we're going to need two more mana pools. Let's go ahead and get them done. Sweet. One, two. And then we're going to need some living wood. Let's grab some of that as well. Kind of get the shape of this kind of built out here. Gonna put a pool there. Going to put a pool there. Then we need something called the Glimmerwood. I think it's just uh, Living Wood and Glowstone. So we'll grab three of them. Glimmer. That's not it. Oh, it was there. I, I thought I couldn't see it at first. There we go. Let's grab three of those. And uh, we should effectively, I believe, have everything we need here. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's have some placement blocks, I suppose. Let's put one there. Put one there. Oh, that's not where that goes. Totally wrong. Try that again. Sweet. Grab ourselves a eh? living wood here, living wood here. We want glimmers on top of those. And some living wood, some living wood. More placement blocks for fun. And that glimmer and living wood. So that should be the actual multi block there. We don't need these in the corner. So I'll just actually get rid of all of them. Sweet. And uh, we'll need to get some mana in the pools. And then we just need to make the pylons. So let's go take a look at the pylons here. We need to do kind of two stage crafting. At this point, it should be super easy. Let's go ahead and grab two of these. So these are the two mana pylons. We're going to go ahead and grab the higher level ones. And uh, we're going to go ahead and grab two of those as well. These are the mature pylons. These are the ones we actually need. 
Uh, while it doesn't have the pylon in here, I'm going to throw the mana in here because it's easier. So we want to make sure these are set to, yeah, they're set to charge the pool by default. So we take one mana tablet, throw it there. One mana tablet, throw in there. I was going to start charging those pools without having to kind of spray mana around or do anything, which is a nice added bonus. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the pylons. I'm going to pop those on top and just wait for them to fill up. And once these fill up, we should just have to right click on this core. And yeah, this should be done here, which is pretty awesome. Oh, we also need uh, one more thing here. We need some uh, ender pearls. Let's go ahead and grab a stack. Maybe a little bit more mana. Uh, not there. Let's grab some lotus. Lotus. <laughs> These ones too have uh, the blacker ones have a lot more uh, mana in them. I'm just uh, kind of saving those for a rainy day. I mean, we'll do that there. <laughs> just so loud. There we go. That's good. And what was I doing here? I was doing uh, ender pearl. Let's do that. Get a whole lot of done at once. And uh, that should be good. Let's grab a few more just for fun. There we go. Got a whole lot of those. And uh, yeah, I'm basically going to just go over here. I'm going to right click this now. That's awesome. Grab our tablets because we need them. You can see that the portals actually open, uh, which is pretty fantastic. And to do crafting in this, so the thing we were going for is called Pixie Dust, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab that. All it says is throw a mana pearl in and you're going to get Pixie Dust out. I think you'd actually go in the core. I'll show you the different recipes. You get Dree Wood, Elementium, which we're already getting. Uh, we get blocks. I think there's just block crafting. It's going to be dragon stones and stuff like that. And then different kinds of course and uh, glass, which has really limited use. Then it has some other recipes just in case you throw stuff in. You get the same thing back. I think it's just so you don't waste materials. So, <laughs> like, the, usually you would want to do um, the this stuff here, the mana pearl. So they go, hey, let's make sure they don't throw an ender pearl in and waste it. You just get it back, which is kind of funny. But anyway, we're going to grab these. We're going to throw those in there because that is actually what we're concerned with. And we'll slowly get all the materials back. Uh, we should get uh, a full stack of this pixie dust. And at this point, we're already done with Tanya, at least up to this point. And uh, we can kind of work towards the next part, which is going to be Mechanism. And uh, we're all finished with this. And it really didn't take too long. Just a little bit of setup, a little bit of get-go, and uh, we're all done here. So let's just drop off all the stuff and kind of figure out where we are here. I think the last thing we need is that uh, HDPE, which we'll probably finish the next episode. Oh, there's one more Komodo we actually need. I actually set up to crafting. Totally forgot about this. The uh, quantum storages. I did those, right? Yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab one of those. Because uh, we actually need to grab a quest. And uh, I never did that. So let's grab you. I just set up the auto crafting. It's just a little bit of multi-staging. And I believe we need four of these to kind of get our uh, transportation table uh, when we actually get to that point. Uh, what was the other ones, though? There was kind of like three or four quests associated with this thing. So you might as well get those. Kind of trade those in. Probably be something we should do because uh, we have everything kind of easily be able to be crafted at this point. We kind of move on from that point, right? And I just did that totally backwards. <laughs> we should have did the highest one first and pulled it out, but I'm total dirt. Then we'll have to kind of do it one more time just so we have one of every one. And hopefully we get that. Yeah, there we go. Thought we weren't going to get our quest for a second. I was all confused. And uh, yeah, we should get a couple quests here. So we're going to get this one here. Claim that. And get all the other ones. Sweet. So yeah, we need uh, these quantum storages to kind of get the, uh, you know, the actual tablet. But they're also awesome because these things can actually hold uh, 2 billion, I believe. 2 billion items. Yeah, 2.14 billion, <laughs> which is a lot here. Right now, apparently, it's full of air, which uh, I think we just take an item and kind of pop it in there. You can see there, it's now set to oak wood. It just sets the, you know, what it can take. And after that, it'll just take tons of that symbol kind of item there, which is pretty cool and pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, definitely something that's going to be very useful. I'm sure we can find some uses for some kind of utterly mass uh, storage in this pack at some point. Here we go. Oak wood and stone. It really does not want me to have a skull fire sword. It's a little unfortunate here. But anyway, drop you off. And drop you off. And let's check out the uh, table one more time. So it's right there. That. Go to trans. I just want to make sure we have everything in the next episode. We can straight up just go and get the HDPE setup done and did move on it looks like it we can craft the end stars we can craft night slime maybe we could just grab that even fused we already have dark matter neutronium condensers we have it all we have everything i think the only thing we have left is the HDPE sheet so i think we'll get into that in the next video and kind of maybe wrap this one up here because it's going to take me uh quite a few minutes probably about 10 or 15 minutes to get through that setup because it is a little bit of work 
But uh, once that's done, we'll have our tablet and be able to fully get into EMC. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. I think that is probably a good plan. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.